welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I am going to be doing a Grecian windflower with a little twist to it. Um, I'm going to use the mold that I made. This is my mold. It holds about 200 mils of resin. I'm using Art Pro Resin. And my first color is black. I love using black, like dark colors, but black is amazing. Black adds to so, so much to certain pores, you know. Um, so I'm using black. It is Liquitex Carbon Black. I am going to use, this is Burnt um, Sienna by um, Abstract Senelaire Inks. This is um, Let's Resin Ocean White, plus it has two drops of the Dollar Rowney Gold. Um, this gold is insanely pigmented, like if you look at it, it's super, it looks like liquid metal. Um, so I only put two drops in there because it's it's also very heavy. So if you use it, can weigh, it can weigh down. Um, and then this right here, this is my absolute favorite Let's Resin Chameleon Powder. It is the Champagne. I just think it's stunning. And I did add just a little bit of um, Curate Color Gold Mica Powder to it but it is just beautiful. It's just got like that pinky, almost like a rose gold. Ugh, I love it, it's just gorgeous. So, um, I have, I've made one Grecian windflower with a little bit of chameleon powder in it, and it's still curing, so I don't know how it's coming out, but I'm gonna do another one in this deeper, larger mold because everything comes out different in the deeper, larger mold. All right, I'm gonna start off with my brown, and I'm gonna, or my burnt sienna, sorry. It is brown, right? I'm gonna put the burnt sienna around the outside edge of the mold, and just kind of put it as evenly as I can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. That's all you can do. And because this mold is deeper, it's everything's going to kind of close up a little faster. Um, so I reduced the amount of colored resin I used for this particular pour when I'm using a deeper mold. Okay, there's some clear in there. I do have a bubble kind of sticking to the bottom of the mold here. I'm just going to loosen it up there because we don't want it to be ugly, right? All right, so now I'm going to take the black and I'm going to pour to the border of the clear and the brown. I'm going to do it on the dark part, not the light part where it turns to absolute clear. I'm going to turn, I'm going to do it right here because I think this is going to be a better location for it. It's still going to move in, but I want to try to keep that center a little bit clearer and this way I can kind of work my way out and keep it clear it's still going to come in and close up but it won't be like solid black in the middle if that makes any sense okay Here we go I am not going to scrape this one out I don't think it's necessary I don't want to get little blobs anywhere either which is what'll happen because I'm klutzy and I don't want it to mess with the middle. All right, so next I'm gonna take my mica powder and this is kind of similar to the duet where um, you're just kind of pouring thin line of the mica powder just kind of all in this dark area and just kind of going around and around and around. Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just showing against the brown. It's giving like that pinky gold. I love this color. It is my favorite. I would use it in everything if I could. Very cool. 
So I'm just going to go through. This was the least amount of of um, of all the resin cups I had. This one had the least amount in it because you don't want to overdo it and have it like all sink to the bottom and be weird and ugly. So I just um, did the least amount. All right, now the next thing is the white with the gold in it. It just kind of made it a little off-white, so it's kind of more like a, almost like a cream color with just a hint of, of the gold in it, which is really kind of hard to see from um, the, through the camera. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna make rows and rows and rows of white. All the way outside and coming in. A little in the middle even is fine. I have a feeling this is gonna, if this comes out, it's gonna be gorgeous. You know, I'm not a giant like brown fan where I'm like want everything brown, but I definitely like it better than I used to. And I think that in this case, because it's got the brown and then that rose gold and then it's um, being made a little darker with the white and then the cream for the, um, Darker with the black and then lighter with the cream. I just think that it's got just, I think it might be beautiful. It just might come out beautiful. Bunch of little layers. Hopefully. This will work out. I think we're about to the end of it. All right, so that's done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my push and then I have some stones here to go in the center. They are like, um, there's gold, black, and then like kind of like a burgundy um, and some like peachy kind of colors that I think will look really nice with it. I need to move this over here so I can scrape it out. Guys, I am, <laughs> I am just looking at this and just stunned at how beautiful it is already just the colors I really hope that it comes out nicely put some of these stones in the center which at least so far are matching it perfectly oh, all right let's get these in here I'm gonna let it try to kind of move in by itself, but it's gonna need help because I do have a little layer on the top of um, like a little film because it is cooler in my house today, but it is, it is starting to close up by itself. So I'll just let it do its own thing for a little bit and then I will torch. So I will put it on a time lapse for you and then I'll torch it and then I will see you tomorrow when it's time to unmold. Okay, I'm so excited to do this. Please note that this in your, um, in the camera is showing up a lot more orange. It's a lot more like a pinky color um, on my end, which if I get to take a picture of this outside, we'll, um, we'll show you. 
Okay, we got some cell formation. You can see the, the chameleon powder there. So let's see what we've got. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. It is beautiful. Oh my God. If you can see this, oh, I'm gonna take a picture in the sun. Each one of these petals is, is like reflective because it has this chameleon powder in it. And this came out so beautiful and it's the most beautiful like pinky brown that you've ever seen. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of pinky right there. That's more along what it looks like. The whole thing looks kind of pinky brown. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.